look at my life and it's like, you know, if it wasn't for some, uh, for God allowing some of those struggles, it's like I wouldn't be as close to the Lord as I am now, you know. I wouldn't be in this Bible school. I wouldn't be having faith in God, you know, with my family and everything. It's like, it just sounds like, it just sounds fake to say that God <laughs> doesn't allow things happen to good people, you know. But what do you have to say about it? Well, it, it makes me think of, so we read earlier this month, Exodus chapter 4, I believe, chapter 4 through 6. We were in Exodus. Yeah. And so God talks to Moses, right? Right. Calls Moses out of the wilderness. He tells him everything that he needs him to do, right? He needs him to, you know, go talk to Pharaoh. And, but Moses, he, he goes, but God, I don't know how to talk. God yeah. tells him, no, don't worry about it, don't worry about it. I'll, and I'm paraphrasing everybody, okay? So this, this isn't in the Bible. If you're like yeah. looking at what I said word for word, it's not in there, right? But it's, I'm, again, paraphrasing, so it's going to be, the idea is there. Um, but, so God tells him, don't worry about it, I'll teach you, right? And then Moses, again, goes, oh, God, I'm not sure. Can you send someone else? And then God gets mad. And then God cuts him off and goes, like your, like your brother Aaron, <laughs> you know, <laughs> who I'm already sending, you know, and who's going to be happy to see you. He already answered, God already answered one of Moses' doubts. Mm -hmm. And then Moses allowed his doubt to become this fear that took him out of God's plan. And God honored it. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then he even showed him, like, hey, I'm already sending Aaron to you, who could have potentially been. And this is my this is my application from the observation, right? Could have potentially been this person that would have taught him, but then he made him the, his prophet, right? And then even further down the road, God tells Moses his plan even more so, you know, that he's going to go. Moses is going to go and talk to Pharaoh, and he's going to harden Pharaoh's heart. So Moses is going to go to Pharaoh, and he's going to fail. That's God's plan. You're going to go and fail. You're going to go and fail. The question is, are you going to be obedient? You were disobedient with me before when I told you, this, hey, this is what I want you to do, and then you took yourself out of my plan. Are you going to go and do what I'm telling you to do, and you're going to fail? You're going to be obedient. Mm -hmm. And then Moses goes and does it, and then God reveals to him, the reason you failed later in the chapters is for the salvation of others. God let all these bad things happen to, in, in Moses' past, before he found God, he failed, he murdered somebody. God, God let these things happen to Moses. God gave him his failures for the salvation of other people. All of his failures are God's, all of his successes are God's for the salvation of other people. In all of my time at New Hope, I have failed. I have failed so much, and it was not to the point of, oh, God, I murdered somebody, like Paul. <laughs> <laughs> I hope not. I betrayed <laughs> Jesus Christ, like Peter. I, I might, have, might as well be a murderer. It was, it no, was I, 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 I almost failed, flunked out of school and left my calling. I'm but glad those you failures, did oh, But those failures, yeah. if God had told me, that was my plan, actually, Michael. That was my plan that you would fail, but it was for, it was for all of this that you would not only save the people of Israel, but then other Egyptians might as well. And I'm making an inference. I am. So everybody don't chew my head off. I'm making an inference. <laughs> but that other Egyptians might observe what Moses had said. Their hearts aren't hard like Pharaoh's. They'll observe what he said. They're acknowledging that God is God. And they'll paint the, the blood of the lamb on top of their door frames. And they'll see that God's God and they'll escape. And then I'll make a law accepting the foreigners and tell Moses to tell the Israelites, accept the foreigners as they leave. And then I'll make the Israelites and all the foreigners my plunder because I desire relationship. I desire relationship over gold. And then I'll show that to everybody thousands of years later through Jesus Christ who will do the exact same thing. Jesus Christ's life to people who don't know him is a failure, is a tragedy. It is bad things that happen to good people. 
I mean, that's what it is. To, to people who don't believe in them, it's, it's the worst thing that could ever happen to a good person. Yeah, and people often blame God too. Yeah, I mean, and so why, why, why does a baby have to die? Why does a baby have to die? But when we look at it through God's eyes, that baby was the world's greatest gift. Mm -hmm. But it was God's greatest gift that we can share that God gave us this thing. Why does a marriage have to die? Well, it was God's greatest opportunity that we could not only have this marriage and have this child, but that a whole other family might be saved and acknowledged that they might have relinquished that gift of marriage and love, you know? Bad things, they're, they're God's bad things and they're God's plan. They're not the enemy going, the enemy's going, God did this for no reason. The world's chaos. That's what the enemy's doing. God's going, actually, this is so that you can tell people about me in a new way that these things aren't done. It's not over when I'm in it. Yeah. And, and that's, that's why. It, it only looks bad when, it's, when it doesn't go anywhere. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, that's, that's why. Yeah, but the bigger outcome yeah. is so much more deeper than we initially right. even it, thought with our little human eyes. Yeah, and I mean... <laughs> we have to look at God's perspective, yeah. you know? Ultimately, it all happens because the world's sinful and fallen, right? Mm -hmm. World's sinful, fallen. Well, how do we fix it? We accept Christ, right? <laughs> we, <laughs> we accept Christ. We accept Christ. You know, if Adam and Eve didn't, didn't lie to God, none of this would be happening. Well, okay, how do we go forward? Except Christ, he's coming back, right? It's like, he is coming back. So, I mean, but yeah, God's plan, it's, it's happening. Mm -hmm. These things happened for a reason. Grandpa, yeah. Grandpa's gone for a reason, mm -hmm. you know? He's with Christ. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's beautiful, it's wonderful. It is, it is beautiful.